Hey everyone, this is Dr. Walker. This is video 254, Magnetic Field of a Current Carrying Wire. We talked really early on that what creates magnetic fields is moving charges. So in this video, we're going to look at how moving charges or currents in a wire will produce a magnetic field. We are provided with the equation for the magnetic field produced uh, no derivation here again, but this is the magnetic field produced by a wire at a certain distance R from that wire. So mu naught is the permeability of free space, so that's a constant. 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7. We usually leave the 4 pi as part of the constant so that it can be divided out by any kind of any pi that might be in an equation. And I is the current of the wire, and then divided by 2 pi r, where again, r is the distance from the wire. So the further away that you are from the wire, the bigger the r, the smaller the field. And what we see in this picture here is the iron filings lining up in the direction of the magnetic field produced by our current in this wire here and we can see that the magnetic field forms loops around the wire. Let's take a look at an example. This is a conceptual question. Compared to the magnetic field at point A, the magnetic field at point B is what? So compare the field at both points. Go ahead and try it on your own and let's take a look. So the magnetic field is given by B equals mu I over 2 pi R. And we just talked about that the further away that you are, the bigger the R, the smaller the field. So if you have twice the distance, if this becomes 2 R, then you're going to have half the field because you have the 2R in the denominator and that can you can take that that 2 in front here and then leave the rest of the equation intact and you'll see that you have one half mu i over 2 pi r which is half of the original field so this would be the new field which is half of the old so the answer is half as strong, which is letter D. Sorry, letter C. So that's it for this video. And I will see you in the next video.